Alright guys, today I've got a video on this device right here. This is going to be my LG G-Pad 8.3 inch. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is how to do a complete restore of this device. So this is going to restore your device. You'll be able to unbrick your device with this same process. You'll be able to remove root and totally reset it. If you're on a custom ROM like I am right here, you will be able to wipe it off and everything will be back to stock. So that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. Um, let me just show you what I'm working with right here just so we're all on the same page. Let me go into settings. And we're going to go to about tablet and software. And this is just going to show you that, you know, what I'm running right here. So what I've got right here is this is Android 4.2.2, which is Jelly Bean. And then this like here, this is actually a custom ROM, which is uh, Maladus 1.2.5. So, if you're on stock or whatever, whatever it is, and then obviously this software version is the V500 or 50,010A. That's the software version right there. Now, if you're on a custom ROM or whatever, that's fine. If you're in a boot loop, you're in a brick state, your thing won't power on. So, let's go ahead and get to that point. So, let's go ahead and uh, power off here. It's just a little application I use to power off, okay? So let's say you're in this state, you're in a loop where you just see the LG logo and it will never boot. Whatever it is, get it to the powered off state. That's going to be the first uh, step you're going to need to do. Um, and once you've done that, let's go to my computer and show you guys how what files you're going to need. And then I'll get back and how to use this thing. Alright guys, so here we are on the computer. Um, let's go ahead and just show you what you're going to need to download. It's really not too bad, it's only a couple files. So basically what you got is you have this file right here and this file right here. So this is all you need. Two files, okay? This is the LG drivers. And actually you don't even need this. You can technically do it with this file. But get the LG drivers. Click on them. Click run. It'll install the drivers. Hit finish. That's it. You're done. Very simple, okay? Very simple. Um, then you get this file and you double click on it. And you extract it and when you extract it it looks like this right here pretty easy also and go ahead and run it and it's gonna run um, this LG mobile software tool which is a pretty nice little tool and pretty much makes this thing super easy to deal with it does take some time to run all this stuff and obviously um, I would highly recommend to have a good battery life before you start this process but if you're in a brick state you have what you have you know what I mean so whatever battery it is, it's where you're at. So you just got to work with it. But if you're just doing a reset to get off a ROM or something, you want to go back to stock, definitely make sure you have good battery life before you run this. It's just always a good idea before you start messing with your device. Um, so this is going to pop up here in a second. Um, now that we've got the drivers installed, let's go ahead and uh, plug in our USB cable right here to our device. Oh, wait, we got to put this in download mode. My bad. Let me show you how to do that. So you're in the powered off state like we left it. And what we're going to do to get into download mode is I'm going to turn this so I can do this. Is I'm going to take the volume up and down buttons. Hold both of them. Your device is off. You're holding power, uh, volume up and down. Your drivers are installed. Go ahead and take your USB cable. Plug it in. And then just keep waiting. And you should see that little symbol there. You can let go then of your volume up and down. And your device is in download mode. Um, you can actually see right here that the tool is actually recognizing it. Um, and it's telling me there's actually, see, your device has the latest software available and everything is good to go. Um, that's just because this ROM of mine is basically based on stock. Uh, and that's why it's telling me my software is good to go here. Okay. If you're on some kind of custom ROM, it's probably going to tell you you have an upgrade available. But you can see right here my device is that LG V500. Um, but what you want to do if you want to get into this upgrade, if you have an upgrade available, it'll just tell it to you and go ahead and upgrade it. It's uh, it's not a big deal. But if you um, want to just force a restore or unbrick or anything like that, it's pretty simple. Is just go in here to options and if I can get it, go to options and hit upgrade recovery, and it should 
should launch a new window here. There we go. And the first thing it does is it just makes sure that everything's set up so that you can do an upgrade. Um, this doesn't take too long. It's it's a pretty quick process. So it shouldn't be too bad. So here you go. You, you're verifying Windows operating system, which is the operating system I'm running. And it's going to again go to this step where it's going to download the current operating system from the Internet. Okay. Um, that process is going to take a long time. Depending on your internet speed, could be hours. Um, hopefully, and I'm pretty sure it does function like this, that this thing does actually kind of charge this while it's plugged into the computer in download mode. So here you can see you're, it's downloading the software. Um, when it's done, just leave this thing plugged in like it is. Don't unplug it. Leave it in this low screen state. You can see it's not drawing a lot of energy because the screen's so dark. Um, and let it download and then it'll it'll start flashing uh, the file so we're gonna let this pause right here and we'll come back to it as soon as it's downloaded all the files and it's gonna take a while alright guys I just wanna point out to you um, how big this file is that we're downloading here um, it is massive and you're at basically one and a half gigs or 1500 megabytes of a file um, it has taken my computer, which has a pretty quick connection, um, about, looks like 34, 35 minutes to download this file. Um, now, hopefully your tablet's good. I think in this mode, it'll actually kind of power it through the USB cable on your computer and, and actually charge, but I really don't know. Um, so here we go. It's uh, extracting the software, and it's going to the next step. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, waiting until software extraction is complete. Uh, you can see this tool running. All right, now this is this is where it's super important right here. Um, upgrade is in progress, and if you unplug your cable, you could totally mess things up. Obviously, read the disclaimer right here. Do not disconnect your phone or remove the battery until upgrade is complete. Um, so on and so forth. Phone will may restart. Uh, automatically and enter emergency or download mode during upgrade so we're already in download mode so um, hopefully it's not actually going to enter download mode we're in it so let's just let this upgrade process go through um, hopefully everything goes smoothly let's see what happens here so I had a little error so I'm going to go retry Okay, so it's running again here. Hopefully, get good uh, progress on our upgrade. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, it took about five minutes, and you can see that it just uh, booted back out of uh, the upgrade process. So it says it's at 97% uh, mm -hmm. right here. You can see the initial LG boot up stuff going on right here and uh, it should boot and it should finish just to go to 100 percent so let's just take a quick look and see if that happens um, obviously this is kind of like a first boot up so it's gonna possibly uh, take a little while to boot up um, alright so you can see you're optimizing applications and the support tool says it's finished so let's close out the support tool and um, let's check out this device here support tool automatically reopened which I don't really know why um, but let's finish let this thing optimize its applications starting applications everything looking really pretty good so far and there you go you boot it up um, we can close this tool out again because we don't need it and then let's go ahead and open it up really quick and let's take a quick little gander at it go to tablet software and boom you can see now you're back to stock there's not that uh, ROM I had in there anymore that stuff is gone um, which is very very cool so now you can see I've actually still have applications because this doesn't do a wipe it doesn't actually factory reset wipe your your data out it just flashes the the stock operating system so if you want to go completely factory from here or if you don't boot right here and you get stuck in a boot loop after you do this tool and you flash and it will never turn on Go ahead and turn the device off, um, which we can do with this button right here. 
go ahead, you can unplug your cable at this point. Turn off. All right, so it's shutting down right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into download mode. Um, to do that, I'm actually gonna pull up an XDA thread to show you how to do that, because it's pretty simple. And it tells us how to get into factory reset mode, is what I'm trying to say. So to get into factory reset mode, turn off your device. We've got the device powered off. So what we're gonna do from here is you're gonna take the volume down key on the side and, and volume up and you have power, okay? So we're gonna hold the volume down key then we're gonna hold the power key. When we see the LG logo, let go of power, then press volume up and power again and hold all three buttons. And shabam, we're into factory reset mode. Um, and now we're gonna do a factory reset. So again, if you wanna just do a full restore and wipe out all your data and everything, get this thing totally stock after doing this unbrick, this is the way you do it. Or if you were stuck in a boot loop after the unbrick, again, this is the way you would do that. So we're going to go ahead and it says to um, confirm it, press power to confirm. So we're going to do that. Press power to confirm again and we're going to do that. And this should uh, go ahead and do a factory reset here. There's your little Android guy. Everything's looking, looking fine and dandy. And as soon as it's done factory resetting, it should reboot the device and then you'll be completely factory, 100%. You unbricked, you restored, however you want to call it, you factory reset the device, and you are booting and running and functioning 100% once again. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Let's let this thing finish. Here we go. Factory reset is done. Here's your boot. So like I said, if you're in a boot loop or whatever reason or however it goes, this now should boot function correctly now. So let's give it a shot here. The LG logo. First boot up after a factory set could take up to five or ten minutes, um, so definitely be patient on first boot. It shouldn't, this has got a quad core and it. it shouldn't be that long, probably tops five minutes. I would say more likely it's going to be like three, um, but just be aware of that. Alright, there you go. Factory reset LG G-Pad 8.3. Very nice, very simple little setup here does take some time to do some downloading, but just be patient with it. Obviously, give yourself plenty of time to do this process. Um, here you go. Go ahead and go through your setup, install everything, and uh, set up your login to your Gmail and set up the device. Click into your Wi-Fi, and you'll be good to go. Fully booting, fully restored device right there. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope it was informative for you. Hopefully, it saved some of you some many, many headaches, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out.